Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a way that you can unscrew the two pentalobe screws that are found at the bottom of each iPhone using household items that you have around the house. This will allow you to do it without a pentalobe screwdriver so that you don't have to buy a screwdriver just for this purpose. This will also allow you to open up your iPhone and work on the inside of the iPhone in case anything is wrong with it. So, let's get straight into it. So pentalobe screws like this are found on the bottom of each iPhone. And to show you, I've got a few iPhones, for example. So we've got the iPhone 4 here with two pentalobe screws on the bottom. We've got the iPhone 6S here, also with two pentalobe screws on the bottom. We've got the iPhone 7 with two pentalobe screws on the bottom. And today for this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you with this iPhone 5, which also has two pentalobe screws on the bottom. But you'll find these on even the current models like iPhone 12 and last year's iPhone 11. So it's quite good for that. So today we are going to be using a knife, the tip of a knife to open up these two pentalobe screws. And any knife with a sharp tip should work with for this. So you could use like a Stanley knife or a paper knife. Or today I'm going to be using this steak knife uh, for this demonstration because it does have a nice sharp tip on it. But you will have to be careful with these because these can scratch the outside of your phone and also be quite sharp if you slip with them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the iPhone and we're going to slip it into the pentalobe screw. It can be a little bit fiddly. But once you get it in there like that, you just start unscrewing it like so and you'll see that the screw is coming out of the screw hole like so and then you should just be able to pick it out there we go and there is the screw there for focus there we are so we'll put the screw down there for now and we'll just repeat the same process for this other screw here so get the um, knife in and just start unscrewing it. You'll see that's coming out like so. And then you can just pull the screw out and there it is. And then put it to the side. So now there are two empty screw holes in this phone. So now you, if you need to work on it, you can open up the screen with a suction cup and start working on the inside. Now, once you've done what you need to do, you can use the same process to put it back together. So we'll get the screws, we'll slip this one in first, and then we'll just get the knife again and just start screwing it in, back into position. And you'll see that that is going in like so, and that is now flush with the surface, screwed in nicely there. Now we'll do the same process with the other one. So I'll just get this screw, slip it into place. So now that that's into position there, we'll just get our knife again and slip it into the top of the screw. There we go. And then we'll just start screwing it back in like so. And the good thing about this is if you're careful, it doesn't actually strip the screw. So. Um, it doesn't wreck the screw by doing this. And there you go. You can now see that both of them are screwed in nicely, like so. And now this phone is all back together with its two pentalobe screws. So that's a really nice and easy process on how you can screw and unscrew these two pentalobe screws without having to go to the hassle and spend the money to buy a pentalobe screwdriver um, because these are proprietary screws and it will allow you to quickly access the inside of your phone without having to order one online. So yeah, hopefully you've had some good success in getting these two screws unscrewed and also screwed back in by using these household items that I mentioned before. Um, so a knife with a sharp tip. 
Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.